What is up, everybody? It is your boy Fry. Thank you once again for tuning in to another video, man. Shout out to Notification Squad and shout out to the Discord fam. Check the link in the description to join. In today's video, I wanted to really help you achieve a thousand band phony Playboy Cardi styled vocal effect to help you rap over those kind of beats. Slightly older sound, but definitely still relevant today. Definitely popular, you know, amongst the LA wave. Uh, you know, those high end LA sounding studios always recording those types of vocals, which I've always quite liked. But yeah, man, we also got some cool bonus material today. We're going to be using my H3000 to get some cool background effects. So you can kind of hear it right now. I've probably boosted it in post. But uh, it's a cool flanger machine that I use to get delays, pitch shifting effects, and that kind of thing. And uh, if you want to learn more about recording and mixing with the NFL Studio, if you record yourself in FL, definitely check the links in the description for my vocal recording course, vocal mixing course, as well as vocal enhancer. Definitely going to help you up your game. With that being said, let's hop on the computer. Squad up. All right, man, we're in the computer right now. It's time to get mixed. So what I have right here is this uh, thousand band uh, hold on track. So we've got the remix right here. We'll play it and then I will um, I've also got a cool little outro and we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, H3000 as I said earlier. So, uh, you know, stick around for that. We'll get to the mixing first and we'll mess around with uh, some cool pitch shifting stuff. So let's get it. I'm ballin', throw it in the end zone In the cut, I lay low Call me on the payphone They say life's a movie, so I gotta go pro Dope, run a dope, run a pull up with the cargo In the cut, rollin' up, bitch, I think I'm Rambo It's so hard to let go, I'm just tryna hold on It's so hard to let go Alrighty, so there you go, pretty cool. So we've got an alternate ending as well. Like I didn't, just, I couldn't decide which one I wanted. So what I also did was I messed around with this uh, H3000 pitch effect, and then I had actually um, recorded some of the pianos. So you can just listen to this real quick. Oh, in the cup, rolling up, bitch. I think I'm Rambo. I think I'm Rambo. You know, I mean, a lot of people think that, you know, their pitch shifting VSTs are cool, but uh, they're all really mimicking this device right here. So, you know, let's get straight into the mixing tutorial, then we'll mess around with the pitch stuff. And we've got a whole bunch of cool stuff we can mess around with. It all comes from this machine, and I'll show you how to do that. But for now, vocals. So, first things first, when we've got our main vocal, we've got some doubles, and then we've got an ad lib track, which we have going on in our mix this time around, as you can see. Um, I don't know if I'm using all of these. This I'm not using. I don't know why I always leave this here. Let's get rid of that. We'll just kind of kill that off right there real quick so that's gone um and then we have you know i don't, I don't know if i'm using both the uh, ad libs maybe i don't know but uh you know we got our main rap vocal no compressors this time around i'll show you how to get some really cool compression going on we'll delete those uh we got doubler and then we got our ad libs right so main vocal first if i was to turn off all of the effects we have going on on the main vocal uh, it would sound like this so let's just uh give a bit of headroom and then we shall um, turn this everything off over there. It's so hard to let go. Let me cut the bank ball. Bitch, I'm friends with the plug. Got it for the low low. Pull up in a street car, drop it like an end zone. You know, so we have a pretty decent main vocal going on. It's 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 kind of bassy, and uh, you know, all we need to do is a little bit of EQ and a little bit of compression to get the sound we're going for. So you know, that's what we'll be working with. So, yeah, man. I wanted to stick to a real traditional LA, New York style vocal chain. You know, if you went to a professional recording studio, this is pretty much what you would get if you were recording some cool tracks. So, especially vocals. So, you know, first thing I like to do is smash with a little bit of de -esser. Man, if you watched a lot of Wiz Khalifa vlogs, you'd always see his engineer pull up a de -esser. So this is definitely a plugin that everyone has been using for a very long time. I use it just to really get rid of anything harsh, any words that pop out that have a bit of harshness to them, you know, simple and sweet. And after that, man, we do a little bit of SSL. So imagine us recording from our Neve um, into our computer, right? And then we want to bring it all, you know, from the Neve into a mixing console. So imagine that as our mixing console where we do a little bit of EQ and then the rest of the chain, you know, so EQ wise, I'm just doing a little bit of a high, high pass, you know, 200 dip, you know, 200 dip. And then just a little bit of a boosted AK to give us that SSL kind of, uh, you know, blend going on. Really nice uh, transparent plugin. Definitely, by the way, man, this is going for $5 per month. So you actually get this plugin as well as the bus compressor. Let me just show you the bus compressor. Mm, 
you get these two plugins for five dollars a month a month which is pretty cool so i would definitely pick it up if you want to step your game up a really nice combo but yeah a little bit of eq and then today man i'm definitely gonna be buying this plugin soon uh this is the avalon i was reading a bit about dr dre's vocal chain and they would compress um vocals using the avalon so they would go neve 1073 into an avalon compressor and wow you get a really nice crispy sound so um what i'm also doing additional additionally to what you know dr dre would be doing for example you know a more traditional studio style vocal is i'm using the eq a little bit now i have heard uh lil uzi Vod uses this eq and that's kind of where you get this nice treble so this is definitely a nice themed plugin to get that sound so you know if i was to turn this off you can kind of hear so it doesn't really do much it's doing about you know at max 4 db of compression but i don't know man it's just that we just do 2 db here and there of boosting you know as you can see i do a 20 what is that 32,000 hertz boost and then just a 1k boost and then a low mid cut you know a little bit of a bass boost just to get that thousand band kind of heavy bass sound going and um you know nice compression that's that man that's how we would get a nice analog styled uh compression sound but you know since we we're going for this plug wave type stuff um, you can really hear this vocal has been heavily compressed so what i did was i chose this r compressor which is great at just squashing stuff and then i decided to really just squash the vocal and we're getting about 9 db of compression soft knee kind of compression really fast attack really slow release so it's absolutely just chomping the vocal and then holding on to it and uh, you get a really nice sound so if i was to show you what that actually looks like let's just go to the filter so as you can hear we don't really hear the compression too much but we definitely do get that kind of clamping down steadiness of the vocals so that we can really kind of go crazy with our vocal sounds you know we can rap loud soft and whatever but it's still going to give us that consistency so that's our compression compression anything compression wise in purple anything eq wise in light blue so after that man, we do a little bit of eq so i'm keeping it uh you know again we're doing a bit like of technical eq right here uh, really not too much equalization going on but just really focusing on this low mid area right here doing a nice soft roll off just to you know help kind of get some weight off of the vocal uh, really getting rid of you know 258 was kind of nasty and then you know just chipping away some stuff we don't like and then just a few boosts here and there i could have gone without the boost but just to really help us you know kind of match the other vocal uh we've chosen to just boost those two frequencies and then just to a kind of really light again 30,000 hertz kind of boost right there so that's pretty much all eq wise l1 again we use the l1 just to kind of you know bring that that loudness up of the vocal and uh, then obviously at the beginning of the verse we've got this uh, automation clip which brings in this uh, vocal so if i was just to solo it it's so hard to let so go to let me go. cut the band go. roll bitch i'm friends with the plug and you can see that's what goes on so pretty cool um so yeah that's pretty much it man you know in terms of the doubles i don't really have much ad lib stuff going on you know besides just here and there so it's kind of just the same thing going on compression you know whatever just set one up for yourself it's not too difficult to get um going but really what i wanted to show you was the um where do we have these right over here we've got some really cool h3000 stuff so i've ran my vocals through i ran this ad lib right here through i'm pretty sure it was this one i don't know which one it was yeah, whatever mirrors this yeah so we ran this through the h3000 and then we ended up with three different takes of kind of effects so i'll play one and then two and then three and i panned the one hard left and then we got another one that's hard right and then we got one in the middle which is kind of crazy so as you can see we've got some really cool stuff so yeah stick around for that man but 
you know also on top of that man we've got a main vocal send so i send the main vocal to this as well now i have to do this once at a time because this only has you know one input one output or it, you know uh, stereo input stereo output right so you know uh, what i did with the main vocal was we've got this first one which is our main kind of flange in the background it's so hard to let go, let me kind of bang, bro Bitch, I'm friends with the plug, got it for the low, low Pull up in a street car, drop it like it And I mean, you can hear how beautiful that is, right? You know, um, this really does the job in kind of creating the sound in the background This is not needed, this is just something I wanted to do to kind of add some coolness to the vocals So, also we have this kind of micro pitch slap thing going on It's so hard to let go, let me kind of bang, bang, bro Bitch, I'm friends with the plug, got it so it's really things you can do in your door, but it's just fun to have them in kind of a computer from the 1980s, really. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much what we have going on, you know, with the main vocal. Yeah, it's so hard to let go, let me go. Oh, let we've got go, this thing on. Friends with the plug, got it for the low, low. Pull up in the street car, drop it right, like right, an end zone. Right. Run it up, bitch, I'm ballin', throw it in the end zone. In the cut, I lay low, call me on the payphone pretty cool so what we've done also with the uh with the beat itself man we've got the beat on its own but at the why not add a little bit of sauce to that piano right there give it some sparkle so what i've done is i've got two layers right here um i just decided to stack them up to save space but we've got two layers right here one layer doing this And that pretty much sounds like all the newest plugins, right? And then we've got this pitch as well. So together they sound really cool. And then mixed in with the beat, we just get this really nice mixture. So that kind of just adds a cool little layer. So on top of that, we've also got this reverse outro. So that's pretty cool. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna set this up. I'm just gonna get the, the camera at the back there and then I'm just gonna show you how I set this up. So we've got this piano right here. So we'll just do this and I'll be right back to show you what I can do. Okay, so I'm back right now. So you can see on the GoPro right there, we've kind of got this preset right here called uh, Micro Dry Slap. That was the last preset I used. And if I press play on the screen, so you can see um, what's going on right now, there's the sample that we have. And as you can see, I've sent it out of um, my output seven and eight, which is where this is sent to. And then we've got it on a return on channels one and two, which is right over here. So as you can see, the H3000 goes from out of there into these channels right here channel one and two and then we end up with this kind of uh, cool sound so pretty cool right but what we can also do is we can scroll through some presets so if i was to scroll through some presets i can press the program button and then we can just kind of fiddle through some cool stuff so let's try instant flanger for example we hit the enter key So that's cool, but not so great. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and find these stutters. I should have found these beforehand. As you can see, I can kind of scroll through presets. Uh, my bad for my mouth being a bit close to the mic, but the stutters is where we're gonna get that really cool sound. So I'm just gonna click on uh, load. We can press load or enter, and then let's try that out.
All right, but point is, man, you can get a whole lot of cool stuff going on, um, you know, within the track. You know, I've already recorded the stuff I needed, and, you know, we ended up with all that cool stuff. I'll just send a, a vocal through as well, just so you can kind of hear what's going on. So we'll just mute this right here. And, um, you know, let's find something that can work. So let me get back here. I really don't know. A really nice one to do is 508, which is the dual harmonizer, which is actually this one right here on the screen if you check. Dual harmonize, as you can see, right? This all kind of adds up, right? 910. Wait, let me just get that. 910, right? Pretty cool. So, you know, if I was to play, let's let's set up a vocal send right here. So uh, let's take that main vocal, send it to there. It's so hard to let go. Let me cut the bang. Go. Bitch, I'm friends with the plug. You know, so we can get a whole bunch of cool stuff. Obviously, I'm, I haven't set the levels up and that kind of thing. But, you know, you get the idea, man. We can get some really cool stuff going on with the NFL Studio. I'll set up some sends and stuff for you for the FreeVST version so that you also have that kind of cool background sound. But that's pretty much it. All I can show you. We haven't done anything to the beat other than drop the level so that we can actually rap over it. And pretty much no mastering going on besides a boost. So... Yeah, that's pretty much it, man. Check the link in the description for this FLP. Check out my courses as well so you can learn a bit more about, you know, mixing and recording in FL Studio. And I'll check you out next time. Peace out.